Hi, I'm Farina Thompson, the grandmother from Reno, Nevada, that relocated to Oklahoma to fight for our grandchildren. That's in DHS foster care and has been since March 2nd of 2006. Now, um, the children's mother, she relinquished her parental rights on September the 15th of 2009. And as you know, children that's in foster care, their priority should be reunifying them back to their families. Now, since my daughter, the children's mother, since she's out of the picture, now they, I'm referring to DHS, should be working with me to reunify my grandchildren back to our family. Now, what I'm about to read to you is from the Department of Human Services. There are policies and procedures in child's visitation with parents and siblings. All right, it states here, child's visitation with parents and siblings. Uh, in parentheses A, parent-child visitation. The frequency of a child's visitation with his or her parents is directly linked to the length of time the child stays out of home placement. Visitation is the most predictive factor in whether a child is successfully reunified. Now, parent-child visitation is a high priority of the child welfare worker and the services or functions of. Now, it's imperative and the child welfare worker wants to make sure and reassuring the child that the parent has not abandoned him or her and that the parent still cares for him or her. Reassessing the parents, I should say reassuring the parents that the child worker is serious about maintaining family relationships and helping the parents. Now in this here section, it's, it goes on to say that strengthening familiar relationships, demonstrating new parenting skills by the parents, evaluating parenting skills, evaluating parent-child interactions, assessing the parent's level of interest and ability to parent, preparing families for unification, reunification, and identifying continued risks to the child's safety that make reunification unfeasible. Okay, the next it goes on to say, visitation is a right. The child and parent have a right to regular visitation. Now, since my daughter is out of the picture, those same rights should transfer over to me because she's out of the picture and I'm the children's grandmother. And far as the visitation as a right, and it is essential, and the parental contract contact with the children and the children knowing that their uh, grandmother has not abandoned them and that I'm there for them. Well, now, since these people have taken my visitation away, you know, even though it's been only four years that I haven't had an approval visitation, and then as soon as I get it, they take it away. All right. I'm just concerned because as I've just read a small portion of this about the children's visitation with parents and siblings and the visitation is a right, well, here it is in black and white, but they are not honoring it, okay? And I'm these children's uh, grandparent, and I'm here for these babies, all right? And I feel that I am being treated in just you know, unfair, and that's why I'm just putting this here out there to let people know, you know, you have to guard your children, or protect your children from the government, because once they get in a situation like this, it's very hard. It's not undoable, because they can come home. You just have to be persistent, you have everything in writing. You have the policies and procedures and manual. 
you have yourself secured and you have proof for whatever you present and you know with that I just go on to say that um, the child's visitation with the parents grandparents and the sibling it is crucial and as it states here in the manual it states parent child visitation is a high priority of the child welfare worker and serves the function of reassuring the child that the parent or grandparent has not abandoned him or her and that the parent still cares about him or her and you see with that short statement right there that goes to show you that the Oklahoma DHS is definitely trying to strip my grandchildren away from me and the rest of the family and that action is wrong that is an ingest to us and this year cannot continue to go on and I ask these children's grandmother I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop this fight I'm not gonna stop this journey my grandchildren are counting on me to get them home and you know I just want everybody to know that prayers do work and with that please continue to pray for me and my grandchildren and their safe return home to get out of foster care and to be free of the strangers that they are living with we are a very strong family and my grandchildren knows that I love them very much so on that I just want to say thank you for visiting and looking at my video please pray for me and my grandchildren thank you God bless and have a good day